Okay, today we're going to make a figurative sculpture. Now, this figurative sculpture is uh, made of wire, tape, and paper. But we're going to start out with the wire part. And the wire part is actually in sculpture called an armature. Um, now, armatures aren't always wire, but armatures are always the inside part of the sculpture that helps hold up and support the sculpture so that it can just stand freely like this. Um, now, we're making a figurative sculpture. Again, figurative means that it's a sculpture of a human. And again, we are also using just wire, tape, and paper for this, and then just some fun paint to make it look metallic at the end. So this will be very simple, but we want to make sure that we get the armature absolutely correct because that's actually going to be a pretty huge part of the sculpture. So let's go ahead and start out making our armature. Now let me kind of tilt this down here so you can see a little bit better what the armature looks like. Uh, now when we are making a figurative armature or figurative sculpture, we want to make sure that we have our proportion correct. And with a figurative sculpture, the human body is going to be about eight heads tall. So if we measure our head here, we can see that it is an inch. So if we have an inch long head, we want to make sure that our body then is seven to eight inches tall. So how do we do that? Well, let's start out making our armature and I'll show you how that's done. So first thing that you're going to need is a very long piece of wire. Now, this piece of wire, when you're measuring it, it's simple enough to measure it because you're just going to take one hand, stretch out your arm, and stretch the wire to the other hand, and then clip it off. So once you have that, you're going to fold it in half. So here I've got a very long piece of wire folded in half. This wire is a 20 gauge wire, so it's still thin enough that you should be able to work with it with your hands. Um, but if you do need pliers, you can use pliers as well. So here I've got my wire. I want to, and I'll tilt this down so you can see, I want to measure it along my ruler. And I'm going to go ahead and twist it at the one inch mark. So here I've got this. I'm going to cross it over. And then I'm just going to twist it a couple of times to secure it. So there is what I end up with. Now, a lot of times people would think at this point that you want to start moving on to the shoulders and the arms. But actually what you want to do is get the entire length of the body at this point. So what we're going to do is use our ruler. And we're going to take these two pieces of wire and stretch them down to the 8 inch mark because if we're starting with our first inch here and we have an inch long head, remember that the human body is 8 heads tall, so we're going to just go down to the 8 inch mark. And at the 8 inch mark, we're going to curve the remaining wire back up towards the head. Now it can go past the head and that is perfectly fine. And again, if you want to start using your pliers at this point to kind of go in and squeeze those together, you can do that. Again, you just want both of these pieces of wire to be the same, to be even. So if you're seeing that they're a little off, you know, go back, use your pliers to adjust and make sure that you've got them both even. You also want the feet, you don't want them to be very wide. You want them to be pretty close together. So this is another reason that pliers might be useful. You want them to be kind of a little U. So just like this. Now, as we're going back up to the top, we need to kind of form the body now. So if I'm still using my ruler and I've got my legs down here at eight, I'm going to start crossing the legs to form the top of the legs at about the three inch mark. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cross them here, hold on to that cross, and then twist a couple of times. So there I've twisted once, I'm going to twist again just to make sure that's really secured. And again, you can do this with your pliers too if you would prefer. Okay, now you may want to take this time to kind of pull the body apart. 
so that let's, see, let's turn this back up so that you can kind of see where the edges of the actual outside of the body would be. And while you're holding this apart like this, you're going to start twisting this wire around the outside of the body. So here I've got it kind of pulled a little bit apart, not a ton. You don't really want to pull on it. You just kind of want to hold it out there. And I'm going to bend the wire around the outside of that body. So there's one. And I'm going to do that with this one too. And what you're doing is you're just kind of crisscrossing up to the top of the head. Well, not the top of the head, but the actual bottom of the head. But you're moving towards the head there. So you can see that. You just want to do that a couple of times. And watch out that you don't poke yourself in the eye um, until you get up here to the top. Once you get up to the top, you're going to cross these wires so that they're sticking straight out on even sides. So I'm going to move this one across this way, move this one across this way, and now I've got these arms sticking, or these wires sticking out like arms on either side. Now, notice I've left some space for the neck. Make sure you don't go all the way up to the top of the head before you do this because you do want to have a neck. That would be a good thing. Um, our faces usually don't get used to our shoulders, so we want to make sure that that's the case with our sculpture too. So now that we've got these wires sticking out, we're going to measure from the center about three inches. So there's my three inch mark. I'm going to kind of hold on to that, drop that down, and then just start to curve it there. If I want to use my pliers to get a sharper bend, I can do that. And you do want to kind of squeeze these down so that you get not a very big kind of end here because that's just going to be a little hand. So we don't want it to be super, super huge. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this down so I can use my ruler down here. I'm going to take the other wire and I'm just starting at the three and going out to the end here. And I'm going to start curving that back up. With this steel wire, you may want to, before you start working with it, take a paper towel and just kind of wipe it off because it can get dirty. My hands are starting to get kind of oily. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so if you don't, if you're, I mean, it washes off, but you may want to do that before you start working. Um, also, okay, here we are at the end of the wire, and we're just going to finish this off. So we're just going to twist it around the neck here and trim it. Just clip it off. And I'm actually going to maybe clip this one before I start twisting it around. And use your pliers to make sure that you're getting these nice and secure so that you won't have anything poke out of your final sculpture and so that you also will not uh, cut yourself or poke yourself with the wire. Because as I've already said, it's pretty dirty. It's not um, something that you want to scratch yourself with. Not that you'd want to scratch yourself with it otherwise, but either way, um, just make sure that you're really squeezing that onto the armature. All right, once you're done with this, you can start kind of forming it. So we can think about things like, you know, you may have noticed, or I've noticed that my legs have kind of fused together here. So I need to kind of move those apart again and reshape them so that they're a little bit more human-like. So now I've got like this little figure. At the very bottom here, I'm gonna wanna make feet. So if I wanna do that, I can use my pliers, kind of straighten out these legs here. And then just right at the end, bend those up, grab the U of the foot, and then just curve with your pliers to curve those up so that you'll have some feet. Uh, move these apart with the uh, arms here. You can kind of start to form those down if you need to. Think about, too, where um, the shoulders of that form would be, okay? And you can also make things like elbow bends. 
Now you don't want to get these too close to the body. You can still move them around a little bit after we put that tape on. Um, you can start kind of getting your pose for your figure down if you want, but just make sure that you can still reach all of the different parts because we'll be adding on uh, the paper and the tape to add volume to this figure. So again, uh, remember that this is an important step, but if you get a little off on this as you're going along, just take your time, ask for help, stop if you think that you're going uh, the wrong direction with it, and uh, you should be well on your way to making your figurative sculpture. So good luck.